Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. Yeah, we gon' talk, we gon' have fun. We be on fire, we be lit lit. Check it, check it, check it. It's your unique host, it's your boy ECO, and I'm here with the lovely, amazing, official Miss Jamaica. What's going on? Nothing, nothing, you know, my day walk on. But I wanna let y'all know to make sure y'all follow our social media and all social media platforms, including Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, you name it, we're on it. TikTok, everything, Snapchat, you name it, we're on it. But the most important place for you to go follow right now is our new Patreon channel. That's the only place you're going to find our full-length interviews after a while. Right now, we're spoiling you on YouTube, but after a while, that won't be on there anymore. So for those who love the full-length interviews, just go ahead and for a small membership fee, you can see all the full-length interviews you want on Patreon. Man, hold up. Man, we got a surprise guest here, y'all. You would never guess who popped up in the <laughs> town. He don't really be just showing up, you know. I ain't know he was going to be here today. I just got a phone call because we, we talk like that. Matter of fact, this guy right here, man, I met him over here before Boss Talk. Let's just say that right now. You know, some people are genuine. Then you got people who just fake, but then you got my boy Cam God who... A real partner of mine, man. Yes, sir. Y'all just heard it, man. Cam God is in the building, man. What's going on, man, bro? What's the damn deal, bro? What's good? Man, it's good to have you, man. Hey, man, listen, man. You up in this city, man. I guess you point that camera around. I don't know. Because really, to be honest with you, I know you ain't. If you out with that camera, somebody just spend some money. You ain't playing no games. Playing no games. <laughs> Ain't playing no games. <laughs> we going to walk up on the fact that, man, you know, uh, you've been real busy, man. You know, you've been out here in the – well, not just here. You've been out of state now. When I first tapped in with you, you were really doing a lot of the stuff here locally in Dallas, man. The event was popping up. Um, I remember, I think it, it was that, that, that one with uh, Nipsey Hussle, wasn't it? Did you do Nipsey one time? I did Nipsey one time. Yeah. yeah. I, I did Nipsey three times. Three times. I'm talking about when he came to Dallas. I remember that's how I would, I'm going to be honest, I would follow your Instagram just to see what was going on. That's how I went out at night. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. He had that, he had that by the block. Um, yeah. Uh, by the block back uh, out here. And then uh, he had the uh, one uh, event that he had at Prime. Yeah, that was yeah. the last one. Last time he was in Dallas. Yeah, and I knew you. I knew it because I'm telling you, I used to watch your page after we met. I watch your page. I'm like, damn, it's kicking out there. You know, I wasn't going out there, but I just knew <laughs> I could get out there through your through through Instagram. Through oh yeah, you. I was outside. Still yeah. outside. <laughs> I was outside. Man, so just, just let's talk about how you know how the game then changed within the last say three years for you, far as uh, just doing the you know your your videography. Uh, Pictures, whatever you doing, what changed in the game? Um, only thing that changed was the change. You know what I mean? The money changed. That was it. I mean, however, everything else, um, it's been the same way. It's the same formula. Always work hard, stay consistent, and bring your best day game. Wow. You know? So you haven't changed your formula? Because, you know, as time go along, we all try to improve on our craft. So you didn't try to do nothing different within the past three years to make yourself better? I mean, being around the people that I be around, it just, I get better being around because of the, the, the consistency and the motion, because it's more motion, I would say. That's mm -hmm. the change. Because usually you'll see me with a lot of artists and um, shooting a lot of music videos. Now you see me shooting a lot of comedians or shooting a lot of other people that's doing other Different entertain more different people more in the entertainment industry and 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 let me put out you know what I'm saying I got a you know I got billionaires under my belt too you know what I'm saying we got you know you shooting those type of, the the whole type of mindset now changes and now um, in me working I put it it's it's more of being in tune in what I do and the people that's around and I'm learning more about myself because when you're around them you start learning about finances you start you know I'm around people that's millionaires and billionaires mm -hmm. and things like that so I'm seeing how they work and I'm talking about they work mm -hmm. you know people be like oh well the artists you know they have people that they hire to work on their social media to market their stuff to do that no they really be doing it themselves the billionaires that I be around you know what I'm saying the Cardones or anything they're actually working, putting out, they may have people shooting their content, but they're actually on their phone, dropping it, putting it on a page, mm -hmm. doing everything, you know, themselves. Right. Wait a minute. Something. You just, you just said, said a buzzword, the Cardones. That's a lot of money. Um, you know, this, this guy here is a motivational speaker when it comes to financing and entrepreneurship. 
Um, how did you end up linking with them? Ah, that was crazy. Um, I had got a call from Stephen Goudeau. Okay. Uh, he's a fashion designer, you know, uh, out here. He just was out in New York Fashion Week, had a whole event out there. And me and him have never worked before, you know. However, we were good friends through somebody that we know uh, named Cassie. And um, he had called me and said, hey, you busy today? And I said, no. So then he was like, well, I'm going to have somebody reach out and call you. So they called me and said, hey, we have somebody that uh, needs some video work. Um, are you able to do it today? Yes. Um, the camera guy did not show up. So we need you. I'm like, bet. I'm laying in the bed, butt ass naked. I'm like, shit, hell yeah, I got you. I ain't doing nothing. I got damn me um, get dressed, shoot up over there. I did not know who I was running into. First off, I didn't even know, but they sent me to the hotel. So I see a Sprinter. I'm like, okay, it must be somebody. They got a Sprinter van out here. I see a white lady walk to it. I said, hey, I'm here to shoot. She was like, oh, well, they're upstairs. So I'm like, okay, this is totally different now. She's like, I'm the nanny. The nanny. <laughs> wow. Okay. So I get on the elevator. As soon as I get on the elevator to get upstairs, it was Elena Cardone and Sabrina and Scarlett, her daughters. As soon as we seen each other, we instantly, it was like an instant type of, we, we, it's like we knew each other already and it was like a click and we just vibe. It was a vibe right there. So um, got on the Sprinter van with them. We started chopping it up. I did not know who she was like that. I've known of her husband, but she mentioned her husband. I'm like, nah, not really. And then she sent, showed me a picture. I'm like, oh, okay, yeah, I know him. But as I was knowing, getting to learn her, it was like crazy. It was like, she pretty down to earth. She's not how people, you know, would think of billionaires or anything like that. She's really, really for real down to earth. She's from Louisiana as well. So me and her chopped it up. We get to the event center. Um, still don't know really how, what she does or how she fits in. I'm just thinking her daughters, because they was doing a um, pageant. They was taking pictures out here, but they were in Miami, but they was taking pictures out here. And so she also had an event at an arena. I didn't know it was an arena because we came back, you know, from the back and I was in a sprinter van. So I didn't see the building or anything like that. So we get inside. I usually when I go to a place, I go to scope it out and everything like that. I want to know where I can go, where I can shoot. So then I get in front of the stage. They got this big old stage. They got all the people sitting outside, I mean, sitting in the crowd and everything. So I'm just chilling, like, okay, okay, it's a good event. Soon as she's about to come out, they start saying her credentials. She, she, she in a uh, helicopter shooting machine guns and shooting shots at different stuff. She got Snoop Dogg, it was her and her husband. Big old fireworks, things like that. They just breaking it down who she is. Next thing you know, you got Grant Cardone speaking on her. He tearing up, crying. But I'm like, oh man, she <laughs> is. I'm talking about she cold. Like you, you see her. She's also an actress. She was an actress back in the day. It was just so much stuff she was doing. But I was like, man, you is her. You know what I mean? So she was like, she came out. They had the fireworks. So I'm like, oh man, she is somebody. Like she wow. really doing it. And then. From there, me and her already had a connection um, and as far as working and everything, but we built a relationship based off on that. Um, but I linked up with her through someone named Miss Skittles. And Miss Skittles also is a, a entrepreneur millionaire. Her husband named Mr. Uh, Zoda Goat, he does Airbnbs. He's also an entrepreneur millionaire they real big. They have some crazy names, don't they? Yeah, I mean, but you know, <laughs> <laughs> so uh, they, she, you know, so um, they was like, man, we love your work. We love what you're doing. Um, can you uh, come out to Atlanta? You know, so it was like, you know, that's that's how that situation linked. Went to Atlanta and then, you know, start working more with Grant because they um, they have a lot of business that they deal with them. So mm -hmm. went out there and start working with Grant. That's crazy. So, okay. So that was like your first introduction into that world? Or? Into that world, yes. Into that world. That was my, that's, yes, totally different. It's totally different. And one thing I realize about a lot of videographers, and that's what they've always told me, once they start to venture off in that world, they usually give up on the music videos. They're like, I do not want to film any music videos ever again. Is that how you feel? No, 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 no. I still I still love to shoot um, music videos. I, 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 I love to shoot, period. It doesn't matter whatever it is. I mean, that's why I'm cam God. You know, I love okay. doing the whole thing. However, um, it's, it's, it's different, but you learn how to market yourself but I, I still love to shoot music videos regardless I, would, I, I wouldn't change it I still do I'm out here now I'm telling people hey let's shoot some music videos let's get it in because I want to also where I'm at in my platform I'm trying to look out for y'all I'm trying mm -hmm. to help you all out too mm -hmm. do you want to venture off or have you ventured off into doing film like movies 
Yes, I have um, been doing a little small projects being in Atlanta mm-hmm. um, because you know it's a lot of people that's filming out there. Right. So um, that's the Black Hollywood. Yes, you yes. know, and they have some dope. I'm talking about some dope filmmakers out there. I'm mm-hmm. talking about they. It's a lot of work that's going on out there. However, I haven't got fully into it, fully, fully, fully. But that's where I'm going. But that's be where at. you want to be. A, yes, man. And I think you need to call me when you get ready because I'm not going to do no acting. I'm going to do some directing. Um, I do have friends, Faison. <laughs> Shout out to Faison Love, who, yeah, me and that boy, we go hard in uh, yeah. Columbus Shorts. So yeah. My show going to be dope from the jump. Them two right there, I think I'm in the, I'm in the building. Definitely, soon as we definitely come gotta out. call Faison. Man, definitely, that boy a beast, man. Definitely, definitely got out, man. That's, 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 that's one under my belt, too. I got, definitely got to call Faison. <laughs> man, so that's, that's hard, man. You know, when you start dealing with billionaires and, and God start putting you on that level, man, you start to understand, man, that the people who, got the most going on, you are the nicest people. I'm serious. Yeah, we really chill. I, I said that when I first met uh, Steve Madden and we became partners and I was like, man, this dude, every time I seen him, he was nice as ever, bro. So it was like, man, the more, and then you meet the ones who wanna bees, who ain't really just, they scraping it. Right. Oh, they aggressively, I'm that guy or I'm that girl. So you start to see that as you start to elevate in your because God trying to show that to you so you can change the way you're thinking about this thing. Because when I open this door for you, now you're going to have to be a person who understand how to help others. Right. Because you get, you, you, you got to help people. That's the whole game of the reason God will open the door for you to be blessed like that. That's the only, that's the only reason why I see why, uh, the position that I'm in. You know, it's for myself and my family as well. However, mm-hmm. at the same time, it's always connecting and helping other people because when you start helping one person, that person's going to help another person. And it's just, just to give that. I mean, what's the point of having it all to yourself when you can't share it with others? Man. You know. Well, let's talk about the elephant in the room. 85 South. Them my guys. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I hadn't, I hadn't got to meet uh, DC Young Fly yet, but um, him and... Uh, him and uh, Fred Hampton Jr. I always talk about him, so I'll put him up on the show, but I got to meet him. But Chico Bean and that dang Carlos Miller, man. You yes, know, sir. shout out to my boy Dunk Master for linking me with you oh, guys. Yeah, yeah. But I'm telling you, man, when I met this uh, Carlos dude, boy, that was funny, and I had a great time. I probably hadn't had another interview that's a sensei. that, that's a that sensei funny. Right like, like, but we went hard together. Like, you seen it. Yeah. I was acting up. I didn't really, I never really, I'm one of them dudes who I don't look at, I really don't think about nothing that you done. I just think about what me and you can do together. Right. So when I meet him, I'm tripping because that's just who I am. We yeah. had a great time yeah. in here. Yeah. And uh, the dude, man, just a phenomenal guy. When I started researching more and I started to see him and his whole, I really learned more about him after he left. I'm being real. I wasn't really on him like that when he was here. I did that because of my son and Dunk Master and, and my wife. What, what You really didn't know him either. It was more just my son and all the youngsters, my co-hosts. And Coop, Coop love him. My, yeah. They love this nigga. So when I'm dealing with him, I'm like, damn, man, this nigga, really that guy? Like, I found out that day after that, but yeah. during the yeah. time we are doing the interview, I just had a damn good time yeah, you, with him. You got to tap in. You know, we are um, on the At the End of the Day tour right now. Okay. And, um, man, the shows is crazy. Uh, Virginia, Norfolk, uh, crazy. Um we we was in North Charleston. I mean, we would have been in a lot of places. I mean, the pay, the people go crazy over Carlos. I, I mean, for I real. For, I mean, we had it was one woman that was hanging off the um one of the seats by the balcony. I'm talking about going crazy. I suck your dick, Carlos. <laughs> no. I'm talking about for real. She, I love it. Security had to grab her. Yeah, it's crazy. It's crazy. I'm talking about. No, I'm talking about just a cool dude though, man. And and to be real with you, he showed me love and uh. Man, I, he did a show in Shreveport. I didn't get to go to that show. Talk crazy to him afterwards on the text. I'm like, nigga, y'all could have told me y'all was doing that down there. I'd have pulled up. Yeah. And then, uh, you know, he had the, he was the guy, you know, for me. But then I met Chico, man. And uh, Chico, Chico showed me too much love, bro. Uh, you Chico, know what I'm saying? Like Chico. this nigga showed me love. Pull, talk crazy about me while I was in the audience, though. Well, I don't play that. I don't play that with them niggas. So. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, oh, yeah. that's what he was trying to do. No, yeah. He was getting on the. Oh, he's just talking you. about me talking nice about my wife. Oh, okay. Giving me the blues while I'm. I ain't got no mic in there, so, you know, I can't win that. You nah, know what I'm saying? You're not going to win. You're not going to win. But I had a damn good time at that show, man. He invited us back, showed us really the red carpet treatment, just like Faison do us. Like, you, you, you get shown love by these guys, man. 
and God show you favor with them. And it's just, it's a blessing. And then for me to, when I talked to Carlos, when you was on here to shout you out, really was easy because me and you really got an organic relationship. Right. So I know the work that goes into what you do. I know how much you care about it. So I don't care what it is. And he and he showed you that same love too while we was conversating because I just felt like you needed your flowers. You know what I'm saying? I appreciate that. I saw that. I, I was like, oh, hell yeah. You know I had to post that. No, no, <laughs> I, no. It was real though. It's, all, it's always real. That's the um, same thing with Chico. See, people, whoever you see me with, I can be, whoever, be with whoever I want to be with or been with this person or that person. I kind of, I choose the people who I want to be around. Um, Carlos being, I've been around Carlos for like five years, well, almost six. Um, since the first time I started with the camera, yeah. I've been uh, um, knowing him. Chico as well. The, but everyone has a certain type of thing that happened to where I'll be like, oh, I fuck with them. Um, with Chico, I was at the Verizon, well, it was the Verizon Zen, uh, Center then, but now it's called the Texas True Center or whatever like that. Yeah. So they went, they was uh, trying to hold their nuts on me at the gate. Like, oh, no, nah, you can't get in or whatever like that. So I had to call Rip Michaels, or, but I couldn't get in touch with him. So I was telling Chico, hey, man, can you uh, get somebody for me? So Chico, he ain't know me from nowhere. They all came in. It was him, conceded, DC, all them. They all walked in up the stairs or whatever. But Chico Hood, I was like, man, hey, can you get somebody for me? So Chico, like, who? I said, uh, Rip Michaels. He was like, man, I'm going to call him for you right now. Called him. Uh, Rip hit me up. You know what I mean? He was like, oh, yeah, I got you. Took care of it. Got inside the place. I said, Chico, you a real ass nigga. I'm going to tell you, you all the time. That. You ain't even have, you don't even know me from you don't know who the fuck I am. I could be regular motherfucker sitting at the gate, but your ass just went and did that shit to make it happen for me to come in here. I said, you real for that. I'll never forget that. Man, that, and you you, can't, you don't forget when somebody do something that's 100 like that. You know what I'm saying? You don't. And and he seemed that way when we met, you know? What did you get from me, no Chico Bean? I felt the same way that he was real. Genuine? He loved to meddle, though, but he was real. <laughs> well, I mean, that, that's, that go with this. Being yeah. behind this mic, it, it, it's mm -hmm. some people that... I mean, it's not bad. It was funny. Yeah, it was yeah. real funny. Why? Because he ranking on me a little bit. <laughs> yeah. But you know me. If I'd have had the mic, you know I'd have got with him, don't you? <laughs> nah, there you go. <laughs> the reason being because I treat this like under the tree. I don't treat this like they really on the stage. But we had these same conversations under the tree. We were tripping under the tree. So it's the same to me. Right. So it don't matter. I just never was taking it like on the road or nothing. But if you get out of that tree with them old dudes I come up with, oh, you feel to have to come on with it. You know? Oh, yeah, yeah, if yeah. If you've been out of that tree, you know what I'm talking about. But a lot of people, you know, grew up different. They were sheltered. I grew up under trees talking to old dudes who get off work and all they do is come drink and sit under the tree. That's how you, you know? do it. <laughs> Shoot, we had the same thing. As soon as you get off, you know what I mean? You go get your uh, 211, you know what I mean? Y'all go chill. You know, y'all be by your park cars or whatever like that. Because especially out here well, in Fort Worth, that's where I'm from. You know, yeah, 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 yeah. Like, that's every time we get off of work. And, you know, most of the jobs that we got out there is on forklift. So we the forklift drivers. As soon as we got there and we get off of work, we all link up, chop it up, talk, and it be some old cats that's be out there. We be learning, uh, getting the game from them. That's right. And, uh, under the bridge out here, too. That's another place on the south, under the bridge. Yeah. It's places where these conversations been going on. It just wasn't no audience. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. Podcasting was going on long before this. It just was called something else. Niggas just talking. You know what I'm saying? So I just enjoy conversating with, with brothers that look like me. Yeah. You know what I mean? And that's why I, when I got an opportunity, I said, we got to do Cam God today. We can't go out of town without doing my boy. Oh, man, I appreciate that. And so I just enjoy you. Uh, so let's talk about it, man. Let's uh, get on into it, man, because you not only work with them, man. You you got dope pictures of everybody, man. Like I, when I see your page, whether it be Mo3, whether it be whoever, you know what I'm saying? I see dope pictures and dope work, man. How is it when you go into a place, how do you scope out in a, a, li a large audience like that? How do you get that captured moment like you do? Because a lot of people try to do it and they don't do it like you. Um, you gotta, it's like a, it's a feel that I have. Um, I really don't do too much thinking about it. As soon as I get there, it's probably, I mean, it's a formula. Everything is a formula. Once you, you know, I ain't gonna get too much, gang. You know, you're gonna have to go to school for that. You're gonna have to pay for all that. <laughs> However, uh, I mean, it's one thing when you get there, you already know how the person is. You know who who you around. You kind of know what they're going to do. You know what's needed. You know when they're going to get on stage. You know the audience. You may have other special guests that's up there. You get some of um, B-roll of them, get the, eye, uh, get the shot to them. Um, you see the crowd going to stand up, especially when, I mean, you just know. You just got to be at the right place 
the one thing about me and when I started off doing what I'm doing, I didn't plan on being around those celebrities. I didn't choose this. I didn't even choose this life at all. I was just shooting rocks and streets and sh doing behind the scene music videos. I didn't plan to be nowhere doing this, but I just be at the right place at the right time. So that's the only way I could explain it. Wow, man! You know, I seen you. You when, when I really felt a special moment was when you linked with Bubba Dub, and you seen me at the show. Like that That's was bro right there. I don't come out, but when I come out, when when when, when Bubba Dub no, came I to the show, seen, I never seen you. I don't I never come seen out. You. I think but, that was a surprise for me to yeah, see both but, of y'all. I, I I I don't see you anywhere. But, but Bubba Dub different for me. That's family. So when he when he call or he tell us he coming to town. We got to come. You know, we was in New Orleans together. So wherever, if he pull up, I'm pulling up. That's the I'm, same thing. He was out there at, um, I seen him at, uh, I saw he was at Trap City Cafe. And, you know, I yeah, he with told Tilt, me that. And I fuck with Tilt. And um, uh, so I be at Trap City. And when I found out he was there, I was like, oh, man, I was going to pull up. I missed it. But then I found out that he was going to do a show there. He did. He did the show. And then I was, I pulled up, you know what I mean, right up there. I'm glad. Like, oh, yeah, yeah. I yeah, got some shots of him. See, that wasn't even planned or anything. It wasn't like, oh, yeah, y'all got to pay me or something like that. It was like out of love. You know what I'm saying? It, it, it's all about building a relationship. Your relationship is worth more than money. So Definitely. Um, I have relationships with most of these people. Anybody that called me for something, you know what I'm saying? If I rock with you, you know, it's... It, I mean, if you show in love or you're going to get something, yeah, but most of the time it's already like, hey, this is where I need to be. This is a gift that I'm giving to you. It's a gift that God gave me. That's so it. this is what I'm doing it for. Yeah. I, I, like I said, Bubba Dub different, man. That night, he killed it that night, too. You, I remember, yeah. you remember that night. He kills it on that stage, man. And so how did you and him even link? Um, huh. That, 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 that's a story right there. Um, I met Bubba. It was with DC Young Fly. Okay. I met him at the uh, what's the theater? What's the um the comedy show in Arl Arlington? What's it uh, called? Improv. Improv. So it was at the Arlington Improv. Um, I was up there with DC. We had two sold out shows. Um, so it was the second show. So somebody came in the back and they was like, "Hey," um, and I already seen Bubba Dub. I already seen Bubba. So uh, and I'm gonna keep it a buck on here. I'm gonna keep it real. So. Uh, it was a dude named Ball, and you had his manager DJ Wild Hair that yeah. was back there. Yeah. So me and Wild Hair, I've been knowing Wild Hair way back since you had. I don't know if y'all know about hard bodies or peeping times in Arlington on, or whatever man. like that. I got my card at the house on my table right now. <laughs> so yeah, yeah. Look at <laughs> the gold one, the gold card. You get yeah. in, I got it at the table. It's a little cracked yeah, up. Yeah. Am I lying? Yeah. No, you're not. Yeah, uh, it's right there on See, the that's table how, that's right how far now. I go back. I'm a real one there. That's yeah. why I be laughing yeah. at yeah. this. That's little, how long I've been you outside. You don't know. You yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's why I tell a lot of people I've been outside. You know what I mean? So. um he, I, somebody came to the dressing room. Hey, somebody's uh, trying to get back here. Um, you have some people here. So DC ain't only was. So I'm like, Man, I'm from here. I'm the only person that's from here. So I'm going to go and see who it is. You know what I mean? So I go I see my boy Ball. I'm like, oh, Ball. I ain't see it was Bubba, but I seen it was Wild Hair. Now, me and Wild Hair, we had kind of like friction. You know, at, uh, in a certain situation, a certain time, we did. So, um, and it was right at the time when I was starting to, I'm coming up, I'm doing what I'm doing. So, you know, I got to where I'm at now, and then I see him now. So I, you know, uh, seen him. He came out. Um, me and him chopped it up about it. We kind of locked that. We kind of, you know, squashed it. Squashed it. I did it right there. Yeah, yeah, we did it right there. Because I told my boy, I was like, you know, I looking like, oh, yeah, I could be like this. Nah, I ain't going to do that. So when I talked to him, I said, all right, y'all come through here. And me and, me and him chopped it up. And then uh, once that was queer, because we men, you know what I mean? Men right. at the end of the day. So, um we chopped it up, and from there, I I seen it was Bubba. So I'm like, oh shit, Bubba Dub. And man, people may not have seen him in that light, and he was big, but to me, I already knew. We already, I already knew he was, you know, that nigga. So he came back there, uh, linked up with a uh, DC and everything like that. But ever since then, I mean, that nigga been tight. You know what I mean? Yeah, and yeah. that's on some real shit. You know what I mean? I, I uh, appreciate everyone that's been in my life. That yeah, I, you know, yeah. He just he's moving fast, man. It, the way that the the sports world has embraced him. Yeah. The way that the people have have really respected him in in his craft. The word trash. The way he man he blew that through the whole system. Yeah. To be honest with yeah. you. Yeah. And I think uh, a, a lot of times that's the way God will do you, man. It's just like you meeting the Cardone. Certain things are just there for you. Right. You know, like you said, you could see who Bubba Dub was, but other people might not. It ain't for them to see. Right. God only gave you the vision to see. And that's a good thing because 
is something that he carving out for you and him. Right. And that's dope. You know what I'm saying? And if you look at it that way, you can kind of understand why this dude might not even understand or know who he is. Because I've, I've been in those situations where you might not know him, but I know him. I'm right. just, I got love for him. You know what I'm saying? Because I already know it. We, we still moving. Everybody's still moving. Like, you moving. Everybody moving, man. So what's what's the next next thing for you that, that you want to, you know, accomplish? Be um. I mean, when we was talking we're about we're talking about the, the movies, of course. The movies, the uh, the movies. That's 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 definitely. Um, I kind of start learning different. It's still certain ways that you know I'm I'm looking at that, but I really, really, really as I'm because you know I'm I'm on damn near I'm on two tours right now. What about skits? You don't you never did think about those. I've always thought about skits, but it's just the timing. Timing. It's it the takes, timing. It because once once I do bit. it, or or it's not even that. It's just having the right people. Because me, I'm yeah. consistent. See, I'm gonna tell you this. Me being in Dallas, and this is the reason why I tell people this is why I'm in Atlanta as well. Um, I be wanting to work. It's a lot of people do not that that they're they're lazy. Yeah. You know what I mean? And, yeah. and and in this game, you can't be. Oh, I'm not gonna do it because you know my my, my rent ain't paid or um uh, uh I can't find no babysitter or I I I got this going on or um you know um man I just don't feel like it today. I'm, I'm pissed off today. I'm feeling no. It don't matter. You got to get it in at all costs. You know, um, the one thing that makes me be where I'm at and give me a little edge is that regardless of not foot hurt, back hurt, um, then eat, got to use the restroom, I'm going to be there. I'm going to work. It's all about grinding and putting in the work. And I see that with everyone. It does not matter. There's no excuse. You know what I mean? Things come up. Things are always going to happen. You got to, with photographers and videographers, I say we are great, um, uh, what is it? Scenario handlers, or um, we handle situations very well because we have to improvise on a lot of things. The lights may not be there. The person may not show up. What you going to do? I mean, there's nothing else that you can do but wait or figure it out and get the shot. Because if you don't get the shot, then hey, that's money. That's another right. day that you got to go and uh, shoot again. That's that's time. It's just too much. So you have to always. We're great problem solvers. That's in my head. Um, so. You know, we have to figure it out right there and then. And then the people that I be around, uh, dealing with the companies, being on tour, um, things don't go right on there. You still have to get the job done, regardless or not. So it's really man, no excuses. Let, let, let me ask you about uh, T.I., man, for a minute. Let's go back to him because we didn't really, we just scraped the surface on, like, how did you and him even uh, gain a relationship? I met Tip when I was in Atlanta. Um, I was out there shooting uh, Charleston White. And uh, we just left the 85 South show. And, you know, I'm always want to be consistent in work. And then I also have friends that are in the industry. Uh, you had Tony Roberts and Sir Lance Woods. They had a show at the Atlanta Comedy Theater. So I was like, hey, I'm going to pop up. So they was like, yeah, come through. I ain't asking them how much it costs or, hey, bro, this I'm going to charge. I'm like, I'm pop up and show love to my boy. So came and show love. I'm back. Uh, I'm shooting. Um, it was Sir Lance on stage. Uh, I think I think it was Tony, but I think it was Lance too. But um, I'm sitting down. T Tiny comes and sit down. So I'm like, oh, Tiny up in here. That's what's up. Um, I said I maybe Tip being here, but he he would be sitting down because this was Tip when he was before he really even just did the comedy. This is his first night. You know what I mean? So that nigga bombed, didn't he? Nah, nah, nah. <laughs> but let me, let me tell you the story. Let me tell you the story. So, going, man. I just so, had to say so. It. so we go to the, um, I go backstage. I'm like, you know, I'm just moving because I'm always moving around. So I go backstage. I open up the door. T.I. open it up. I'm like, oh, no, rubber band man. What's hey, up with it? You yeah. didn't do that, man. I said that. What the hell? What you mean? That's rubber. Hey, man. I've been grew. I'm, I'm a big, big, rubber big, Rubber band big. man. Hey, man. I've been, I've been rocking with T.I. since I'm serious. You know what I mean? Did you see me and Bobo Dove? We shot that nigga out the other day. Mm-mm. Boy, we went in on that whole situation, what man. What the hell? We showed love to the nigga, though. Cause nah. if, if we just me and me and man Bubba Dove was a real one, but I, I just thought when you said rubber band, man, that's what he said. Man, yeah, <laughs> yeah. didn't he? I mean, rubber that, band, man. man. I'm like, Whoa, rubber what? band, man. Yeah, that's hey, <laughs> hey, tip the nigga. I'm talking. I used to have my hat to the side and everything <laughs> like that, man. When I was in jail, they used to be like, man, oh, uh, you over here like Ti, you know, little Ti, you know what I'm saying? But nah, oh, but tip, I mean, you probably see watching now, but tip don't even know he like he. Big, big, big to me. I never told him that. You know what I mean? That's hard, but, man. But um, when he opened up the door, me and him linked up, and we chopping it up. And then he was like, uh, after the show, I seen him go on stage the first time. You know, and then he was like, man, I want to do another set. He wow. like, he was going to go somewhere. So, I'm, he was, and so I asked him about that. He was like, look, man, I ain't tripping about, you know, the comedy thing. I may suck or whatever right now, but it's a new venture. So yeah. it's not like I'm 
good. You know what I'm saying? So he trying and want to get better and better and better, which now, if you watch him from then, I'm, I'm genuinely, I'm genuinely being honest. That's your boy, though. He, no, nah, no, nah, listen. <laughs> I, keep, I keep it 100 with Tip. Shoot, I'm, I'm over there in Atlanta. I ain't called Tip or told nothing. He hit me up. He said, hey, I heard you was out here in Atlanta. You know, if I could be an assist, uh, uh, um, assist, uh, what do you say? What's the word? If I can, you know, he'd be using them big ass words and shit. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> he doesn't so, understand the words. He's, he's like, different. nah, he's like, he's like, he's like, all the time. The dictionary. They was that dictionary he does guy. That all the time, always using those big words, even yeah, when he's I mean, talking to you? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, oh, okay. he, he, he's I speaking. didn't know if he just do it for the cameras no, or if no, he no. just do it when he's talking right now. Nah. Mm-mm. Okay. He, he actually um, used the words. Never, he, me and him talk every time. You see him a million p- times on that wall. Every time I see him, we just chopping it up uh, uh, like, hey, man, let's get this picture, whatever. It wasn't no, no conversation at all, really. Like, that. I just bought a lot of damn Maku. Yeah. I, I, yeah, yeah. They, they owe me money for buying all that damn Maku, man. <laughs> I don't know if he's still even selling Hustle Gang. I don't know. Uh, they did. They, Ralph and them still getting to it. They're my people, man. Yeah. They always gonna hustle. Yeah. But anyway. But he, yeah, but he, um, he was like, man, if I could be an assistant uh, anyway to you while you out here, you know what I mean? Accessible. Yeah, you know yeah, I mean? yeah, yeah, yeah. To you while you out here, um, you know, let me know or whatever like that. And I was like, bet. So, um, right when he just, uh, opened up Trap City Cafe, uh, I hit him up. He was like, hey, man, come through. I was like, bet. Came through, show love and everything like that. Um, I'm talking about Trap, Trap City Cafe, be, uh, I hadn't been, we hadn't been down there since he opened it. Mm-hmm. We gonna go by there, you know. I always, to. I'm always support a brother that look like me. It don't matter. Now, that's why I, went, uh, I did a coup all them years because I felt like him and Ralph and Lisa at the time that was working with RP55, being that they look like me, you know, I always try to show love, and and that was the whole game for me. Man, Jerry, shout out there. Jerry, yeah. like like all the people that rock with with with. With him, even Jeter, Jason yeah. Jeter, all them dudes, man, they all them people dope, bro. So, but for you to be able to link with him and really get a relationship with him, being that the nigga don't let too many niggas get close to him like yeah. that. I'm gonna tell you that right now. He ain't really rocking like that. But at the who he rock with, he rock with. Right. So it, that's the dope, man. You know, I think that's hard. Yeah. I really do. No, um, that's that's. I mean, shoot, that's a blessing. I I, I can't even. You know what I'm saying. I can't even just bullshit on that. I mean, that's that's a big, big, big blessing. The mm-hmm. niggas who got a relationship with him, like Quick Trip, the one Quick Trip, my partner down there, like I answer the phone when I pick up and call him, man, he rock with him a lot. Like, it's certain local dudes I rock with uh, because of Shout, you know, Certain dudes in Atlanta, Durez, Deshaun, yeah. and I be down there. Certain dudes I Shout rock with. I just that see him and Big Boogie. Uh, correct. Uh, uh, album release uh, party. Yeah, they they rock with certain niggas, and if you in that group, you might mess around there, and you may see me because I'm 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 linked with these guys. Oh you yeah, know what we I'm already know that. We see the wall. Oh no, 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 we know the wall. No, no. You know what I mean? Yeah, but I'm just saying I'm kind of I've been doing over this. the years. Yeah, you know I've been doing this. Look, at, I ain't even got no beard. No, <laughs> <laughs> that was before Bones talk. But you know, I just like I said, all the young young dudes out here getting to it, man. Like I said again, my biggest thing is the dudes that look like me, man, brothers who didn't really. When you go back so far and our where we come from, entrepreneurship looked different. There was a lot of people that didn't look like us. So I understand that. I see now more people looking like us that's able to understand entrepreneur, true entrepreneurship. And I think that's live. So that's when I see dudes like now. Tip, when I see dudes like you, when I see dudes like Carlos Miller, Bubba Dub, uh, Country Wayne, you know what I'm saying? The, the younger dudes, you know, that's getting to this bag like yeah. y'all doing, it ain't something that's been happening all the time. And I think we need to really, really just focus and understand it's a blessing to be in positions that we're in. But just yeah. shine, let's shine a light on this too as well. Even, even though you being in those situations or having those relationships, um, sometimes your motherfucking finances may not be in order all the way up there. You may not have it like that. You may be around these people. Um, and sometimes people don't understand. They think it's over. I mean, I know it's redundant and people always say, you think it over happens overnight. It don't matter what the fuck you doing. Cause me, I'm still goddamn me grinding and, uh, thugging it out being in Atlanta. I be telling people shit just cause you see me out there is, is work. You know what I mean? I'm putting work and paying bills and doing this and that, but shit, they, they could thugging it out there. You know what I mean? Make it, make it a yeah. situation. It's, it, and I say it in this way because is you 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 when you go into a whole new area when you go to a whole it's like you really have to have faith in yourself and I say that because a lot of people may be watching this and a lot of people don't know like they may think man I don't want to go out there because I might have to have this and I might need to have this and all if you just have one grain of, of faith in yourself just have that faith just to make that jump just to do it 
once you get in that position and you out there, because you're going to think about shit. If you're a person that don't quit, you're going to be like, man, shit, I just can't be sinking, you know, in quicksand and just standing around doing anything. You're going to really have to be out there grinding. So you're going to put some type of hustle in. You're going to put some type of hustle. But if you put it in the right space and you already have, you know, with me already having the right name, now you already, your connections or your people is already hitting you up and they want to see you win. You just have to not be lazy because this, when it comes, it's going to come. So just like me being on tour with uh, 85 South or um, with Carlos, that's hard. That's that's it, it, it's a lot of work that's in that. Then you have other people that may be doing something else, and that's a lot of work that you putting in. But you have to be consistent, stay true, and keep it one hundred with everybody that you're around. Just try to be, uh, bring your A game, and, and and that's the thing about um, eighty five South and the people that's there as well. Everybody has a special talent. It's not just people. I'm like me even being there. I'm the newbie. You know, people been there for like nine, 10, 13 years, you know, even if it's the two years or whatever, they've been there and they put their dues in, they put their work in. Every single person there has a special ability and quality that's there and they're their own person. But you know, God should supply all your needs according to his riches and glory. I'm gonna take you to church right quick. All I'm gonna tell you is when you plant a seed, there's gonna be a harvest, bro. Is you, if you try, if you take one step, he'll take two. All this stuff is really, you think it's cliche, but it's really right. real. Like you you doing all of this stuff, but God not gonna let you do this and do that and there not be something, that, a reaction to it. Yep. He That universe will bless you, bro. So as you keep making those ventures, if you keep jumping and doing the things you do to keep on pushing, it's gonna always, God gonna always make a way, bro. Always, always, always. It, it, it don't matter. It could be, I'm talking about, bro, I ain't had no, I'm talking about probably $14. No. Thirty dollars in the account or something, and it's always something that I'm talking about that that always happens to where well, God let you know you good. I just want to I want to I want to bless you today. I had a surprise for you. You know, uh, I had I had this done for you. You know what I'm saying? Um, and you didn't know it was happening, but come on in, man. Yeah, you didn't know it was happening. I had a surprise for hey, you. Man. You know what I'm saying? Hey, <laughs> you see how I did that? Hold you see how I did that? Hey. I'm going to let my man do, he, you yes, know, the to do what he got to do. Yes, no, sir. man, my boy come yes, through a pleasure. Hey, man. Hey, C-Ray. Hey, this, man. This one of the real ones right here. Hey, you know you know, I've been on uh, seeing... Uh, let me see. Hold that up. Let me see what we got here, because this might not... This a replica. I think he didn't draw it. <laughs> Hold on, let oh, me you check been it analyzed. Out. Oh, them real strokes, baby. Yeah, they, yeah he done it, baby. <laughs> he got the hand. Yeah, he done it. He done, yeah, he done it. He done it. That's the official. That's my signature. They, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Man. You know, I'm um, C Ray. I mean, when I first met C Ray and seen C Ray is when he also he did Nipsey Hustle. Um, the um, the vision. The vit. The vit. Uh, what was it called? Uh, the candlelight visual. The candlelight visual and was baby. I'm talking about. He had a dope ass picture. I'm talking about of, of Nipsey Hustle. Everybody was out there. I mean that. It went global, that whole video, the wow. whole picture. And that's when I really started knowing about C-Ray. But C-Ray been putting in stuff, uh, 85 South Show. Shoot, his stuff is on the fence. His stuff is, I mean, he got, uh, who else you have? Um, shoot, I done did Faison Love, Faison Love, Love. Carlos, uh, shoot, from Lee Mary, LeBron, here in Dallas. You got, uh, you got a whole we, bunch of We people. got some NBA. And oh, we yeah. Have Zeke with the Cowboys. We, I mean, Earl Spence, you know, Air, I'm, I'm trying to get everybody. Yellow Beezy. Yeah, Yellow Mo3. Mo3, I'm talking about, he got some dope pictures of Mo3. Man. Little Ronnie Mother F. And don't forget, yep. don't forget Super Tight. You did uh, oh, DOC. Yeah. You yeah, did, uh, you did, uh, it's uh, you did it's Bun B, Pimp C, Jay's Prince, Erica Badu. I seen all that, man. So, Sir. man, shout out to you, but you ain't did boss talk, nigga. Oh, so I really shouldn't talk. even let you get on this show. <laughs> get out of my dang hey, scene. Man, this you know what I'm saying? This ain't nothing, man. C-Ray, man, keep doing your thing, man. Appreciate you, man. Man, y'all see this. This lit. That's hard, man. Real talk, man. He, he done made me immortal now. No, no, no. He did your thing. You did your thing on that, man. I mean, like I'm I said, you, can't, you blessed, man. Hey, and they got the 85 on the head. Yeah, man. That nigga, that's so, talk, that nigga that know how to kiss up, shout, boy. Shout, shout, shout out to the boys at That nigga be kissing up, man. <laughs> shout out to them boys at 85 South, man. man. I mean, hey, that's a blessing even being there. But Say, know. man, so, uh, man, just, uh, man, just like I said, keep doing what you're doing, man. Um, so, um, I know that you've been moving in a different avenue, so... What else do we can we expect coming from you in the next? I want to say by the end of twenty twenty three. What all can we look forward to? Because I know I heard you telling him some news. I don't know if you wanted to put that news out or not. Which one was it about? I have a lot of news. Was it had to do with a gallery or something? 
Mm, I mean, you know what I'm saying? Don't I, don't I, talk I might about be, that. I'm not even, you know what I'm saying? We, right we, now, it's, it's too early. It's, it's too early. It, it, it's, it's, you know what I'm saying? But <laughs> hey, that's, that's big. I didn't, yeah, I've been holding on to that one. Okay. I'm just waiting for everything to come to fruition. Come to fruition on that one. Okay. Because I don't want to put it out there and people try to get seen. Mm. Okay, got Man. you. That, that's big. That's gonna be. That's gonna no, be. No, because that's huge news. That's gonna be huge, huge, huge. That's gonna. I be, know. That's, that's why gonna be. I was a, that, I, but you know, when I drop that news, it got to right be. Do, it got to be done at Boss Talk. Okay, just I check got it. to let Boss Talk. Because no, because when I want when I when we do it, I want to have it to where it's. Okay. It's, we we got it already. But can set we up. expect that this year, or is it for next year? I hopefully this year. Hopefully this year. Okay, because I didn't man. know exactly. No, 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 no. Man, y'all get a text. Okay. Man, I yeah. keep saying I want y'all to feel that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. But um, also, also the way how things are going, um, uh, the way I'm, I'm be doing more directing and I'm be working more with, uh, you know, I'm doing more with vehicles, especially you see Carlos vehicles, Dunk Master. You know all the old school cars that Carlos have and everything. Doug Master, yeah, I mean Sage Thomas, my guy. Yeah, I, I'm learning a lot That's being my around. Guy. I'm learning a lot yeah. being around them. You know what I mean? They be putting me in work. Cars too. A lot by cars. You know what I mean? <laughs> he he'll, be, he'll be here in April, big dog. Yeah. So yeah, we got a date. And he's so going when down. You, you better pull your up. Car. When you get in your when old, the old school, school car. old school, um, shoot. As you know soon as Carlos let me, soon as Carlos let me have one, you got him. <laughs> nigga come over here talk crazy to yeah. me about them cars. That nigga got about one hundred fifty thousand cars in there. Can't drive none of them, nigga. Listen. I told that nigga he can't drive all them cars. Listen. All leaks everywhere. Man. <laughs> He's like, no, they ain't. Hell nah. If they set, they gonna leak. Hell nah. You, you got motherfucking project cars. I'm talking about going up. You know what I mean? You got nah, yard. You got yard working on them. You know what I mean? You got you know. Uh, shout out Dunk Master. You also have uh, In and Out Customs. Yeah, you know, he we gotta put that out there. Do In and Out Customs. You know, um, you know, Lowe's got a whole big. I'm talking about the cars. It's huge. I was at the strip club. Magic City couldn't even get in. I'm talking about. I was like, I, I think I had the um, the uh, 85 South bag on. I had I had this this bag right here. Oh, uh, really? And the girl was like, uh, I mean, hey, they must see my shit with Carlos or something because they seen my arm. It had said Cam got on it. It's like, we seen that somewhere. You, Cam got to be shooting with the cars with Carlos, right? I was like, yeah. They were like, Dunk Master. It was a female that said that. And I, she you was like, know it. she was like, Dunk Master. And I was like, dang, they, they really. Be looking hard to see your tattoos man. and all that. Mm -hmm. They see it, I mean. Yeah, that's what he got them for. Still, if you're trying to, you know, let everybody see what it is. You know, you just <laughs> <Cam> God. <laughs> Who else? Man, no, thank you for coming on the show, man. Hey, man, how can people get a hold of you if they're trying to reach out, man? I mean, if they're trying to reach out, you go to my Instagram, you know, Jam Visions, J A M V I. I S I O N S, or you could just put Cam God in there, C A M G O D, and this is gonna pop up. It's always gonna be the first one. Um, or you can go on my YouTube channel, Jam Visions Cam God, or reach me on Facebook. You know, it's gonna say Cam God Mason or Jam Visions Cam God. Um, and hey, you yeah. know, tap in and make sure y'all tap in with Boss Talk. If they try to really get at me, they got to tap in with y'all. E C E O and Miss Jamaica. You Money see Miss Jamaica? You know what I'm saying? Y'all got to say Wagwan first. Wagwan. Hey, you know what I mean? Man, it's I, been another great segment. A boss talk 101 where the bosses talk. And we hey, out. Big boss.